Hey, what's up, everybody? If you've ever gotten into conversation of religion with an atheist before, you've probably come across the statement that religion uh, caused much evil throughout history of mankind. That they always bring up the Crusades. That the Crusades happened in the name of God, and religion only brings violence and bloodshed. And so, I want to go ahead and give you something you can put in your tool belt to be able to answer that question or at least that statement. Whenever a skeptic, critic, atheist comes to us and they'll say, you see, Christianity only brings violence. You know, the Crusades uh, killed a lot of people in the name of God. What do you have to say about that? I would propose that you ask them. Ask them if Pol Pot, ask them if Joseph Stalin represented the worldview they subscribe to as an atheist. Now, they'll have a naturalistic evolutionary worldview and you ask them if the Cambodian a dictator of Pol Pot or Russian Joseph Stalin, if they represented what they believe as far as their worldview, they'll say quickly that no, they don't represent what they believe because they're not going to say that they believe in genocide and mass murder and enslavement and things like that. But yet that's exactly what these critics are saying to the Christians. They're looking at the Crusades and saying that they are representing Christianity. You see, they are not representing the worldview, the Christian worldview. The same way that Joseph Stalin and Pol Pot doesn't necessarily represent the atheistic worldview as well. You see, both sides, the atheist and the Christian worldview, both have this problem with misrepresentation. That you have evil people doing evil things in the name of naturalism or Christianity, whatever the case is. Both sides have that problem. It is not only uh, to Christianity. It's all the worldviews. And so when we're charged with that, bring up those two people, Pol Pot, Joseph Spot, <laughs> Joseph Spot, Joseph Stalin. Do they represent the atheist worldview? They'll say no. You see, at the end of the day, people uh, can misrepresent anybody's belief. But we have to look at what worldview, the atheist worldview or the Christian worldview. A loving God that created everything in you and me, or an atheist worldview where there's just randomness, accidental chance, with unyielding despair, according to Bertrand Russell. Which worldview is correct? Because only one worldview can be right. And so the job isn't to find out who's misrepresenting who, but rather what worldview is actually correct. And so I give that for you to just go ahead and put in your tool belt in case somebody asks you that question or gives the charge against Christianity of the wickedness done in the name of God. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a line in the comments on what you think or if you have any other ways to go ahead and refute or combat that question or statement as well. So until next time, thank you and God bless.